Good morning everybody! Today we're playing Legends of Dota and we're gonna be playing a Plague Ward build. Now Plague Ward builds have existed for a little while. It's pretty straightforward. You have Plague Ward but you reduce it to a one second cooldown with the Witchcraft and then you have Multicast and then you just spam the Plague Ward everywhere. Right? And you just have a lot of Plague Ward. The problem with that build is it's just not that strong. You know, while Plague Ward is kind of annoying and such, it doesn't really deal that much damage. It's 40 damage at maximum. It's good at pushing, but it's not really like crazy good at that either. And it just falls off super hard in the late game. That was the problem up to this point. But uh, Venomance has actually gained a cool new talent. At level 25, he can gain the free, can gain three times the Plague Ward HP slash damage, um, which means they'll have 1350 HP as well as 120 damage. Which at that point, it is actually quite relevant. You can spam a crazy amount of Plague Wards so, so, so quickly. Um, from my experience, it's perfectly like reasonable to assume that you'll be able to get 20 of them online in 10 seconds, right? Like, even considering, like, you know, like, like considering the multicast chances and all of that, you know, it's just a little bit of luck, of course, but, but yeah, that's kind of the, the um, odds I would, or like kind of the, the expected value, I suppose, I would give myself there, uh, which is a lot. Right, as you might be able to tell. Now, the thing about the uh, Venomancer here, we're going to be uh, leveling very quickly. <laughs> Why are we leveling so quickly? Well, the thing is, uh, we are now playing Redux, Legends of Dota Redux, as opposed to the regular Legends of Dota, because, you know, regular Legends of Dota uh, just isn't being updated anymore, and, I don't know, it's just not being updated, so I don't really see a reason to play it. Right, like the whole point is to play an up-to-date mode. You don't want to play something that hasn't been updated in literally months. So instead we're playing Redux, which has talents as a working thing. And um, the cool thing here is, uh, you know, oh wait, actually, never mind. Let me let me start that sentence over because like <laughs> you get that sometimes we're like starting a sentence and you're just like, wait, the sentence is not going to end the way I want it to. Uh, so anyway, in uh, this new environment, Everybody, of course, wants to play builds with the level 25 talents, right? Like, that's what everybody wants to do, including me, right? Like, my build is based around the level 25 talent, because that's the cool new stuff, you know? That's what everybody's excited about. Um, and so, and so, I have enabled a crazy experience multiplier. <laughs> crazy experience multiplier. Um, everybody's getting three times the experience they would usually get, which is a lot. That is a lot of fucking experience, right? Uh, so as you can see, we're already level 7, which really didn't take very long at all. Um, and uh, yeah, you level up very quickly, right? Uh, everybody does though, not just me, of course. Right? Everybody levels up very quickly. Um, still, I don't know, I just think that's... <laughs> I don't know. At the same time, you also gotta keep in mind that yes, we have a crazy experience multiplier, of course. Also, where the fuck is that void? Is it in here? Yeah, found it. That's where you would expect it to be, you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to kill it. I'm not sure if I can in time, but maybe. Oh, that's not enough range. But should I actually be able to do it? Yeah, nice. Alright, good, good, good. I'm not that worried about mana. Um, yes, we are out of mana right now. That's fine. We're gonna skill Witchcraft now. The cool thing about Witchcraft, reduces mana costs. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, reduces the cooldowns and the mana costs. Yeah, I'm digging that. So now we can actually, um, you know, use our abilities quite frequently. And once we have witchcraft maxed out, well, our spells just won't have a mana cost. My our spells, I really, really mean the 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 uh, plague boards, right? The W, the blink will still have one. I guess I should talk about my other spells. I have blink, because blink is nice, you know, since we're going for witchcraft multicast anyway. Blink works really well with that. You can just move very quickly. Not only can you move very quickly, um, but of course you gain the benefit of uh, you know, just being able to backdoor a little bit better. Let's be like, let's be real, you know, let's just let's just be honest there. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be backdooring a little bit. <laughs> Right, um, so we can backdoor really, really well. Actually, let me go ahead and activate that shrine really quick. Uh, it's gonna put me up plenty of mana. Just really all we need. You know, like, we, we need to, like, get ourselves to a 
solid amount of mana bonds and since our e doesn't really use any yeah, we're gonna be fine but yeah i'm just kind of like walking in the jungle a little bit farm this as well again we're just trying to max out our experience all right like this is what matters we just want to get to uh level 25 as quickly as possible all right so we're gonna try to do exactly that now uh in terms of items well the first thing we want is just casual tp boots uh mobility is nice also, we're gonna be backdooring, might as well. Just just saying, just saying. Um Midas, honestly, since we're kind of like talking about Midas, <laughs> get it? Might as well. Um Midas I don't think is actually that that nice. I've been playing with Midas, like I've been playing this game uh, this build for quite a few games now. And honestly the Midas, I don't think it actually gets multiplied by the multiplier, so it's really not that significant how much experience you get from the Midas. Um so, yeah, I'm not going to be buying a Midas here. I'm just not really digging it anymore. Anyway, uh, now if we cast our E, we actually get mana back. <laughs> I, wonder if this, I wonder if his ward is now actually going to heal us. That would be kind of funny. Uh, no, it's still based on the 20. All right. All right. I suppose so. Go ahead and uh, do this. Just get some damage in there. I'm also gonna kill that courier because I can, and I hate couriers. Yeah, fuck couriers, man. I mean, I love having a courier, but I don't want my opponents to ever have one. Like, I have this compulsive need to kill a courier when I see it. There's really nothing I can do about it. It just happens, you know, I'm just like... I really tr just go blind as soon as I see a courier. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, so you can see that uh, we're using our wards to push. I'm not getting any Morticast, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but, you know, we're, we're doing this. We're being pretty efficient. Uh, yeah, we're taking damage from the fucking uh, Plague Ward, but... Not Plague Ward. What's it called? Oh, hello. I'm actually going to go for the Necro here. I might be able to... No. Ooh... Okay, this is probably, yeah, yeah, I'm dead. All right, I got greedy. <laughs> it happens, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I don't have that much damage output, sadly, so. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I suppose. You know what? I'm actually kind of happy about that because I've been playing this, this build for a while now, right? Like the past few hours I've just been playing this. And the reason why it took me so long, like why I've been playing it for so long, is because I keep winning so easily. Like, once I'm level 25, which, you know, I kind of, like, prioritize getting, uh, once I'm level 25, the game is just over. It's just done. And you'll see, this build is insanely powerful now. Like, before, it was kind of, uh, right? But it is actually, I think, the strongest, the single strongest summon base build now. Um, because the wards aren't affected by anything, you know, that's what makes them so crazy. They just don't get hurt by anything, you know, like, you really, the only way to kill these plague wards is to actually manually target them all down. You know, you gotta click on them, you can't cast spells on them, you can't cleave them, you can't do anything. The only thing you can do, the only thing is clicking, uh, is, is actually manually right-click them down. We're a little bit crazy if you think about it, you know? Also, get fucked. Okay, uh, we're good. Ooh, it was close though. <laughs> that was close though. But yeah, the only thing you can do is you manually click them down. And that's it. You don't have any other plays. Because you just don't. You know, they don't take damage from anything. And now that the voids are actually strong, that changes everything. You know, the build suddenly becomes viable. That's really cool. I like that. So, uh, actually, at this point, I would love to ask you guys for your ideas and suggestions for future Legends of Dota builds. Because, again, talents are now a thing we can use, right? And since we can now use talents, well, we probably should, right? But there's a lot of cool new builds that I haven't even heard of that, you know, we should try out. We should make a video about and such. So... If you guys have any any ideas, any suggestions, please, uh, absolutely feel free to let me know. I would be glad 
glad to hear them because that means I don't have to come up with all of this shit on my own. All right. Um, all right. Okay, let me see if I can actually do this. Oh, no, I killed him, but I didn't get experience for it. I wanted the experience. That's the thing I really care about. All right. You know what, that's fine. But yeah, feel free to let me know uh, of your suggestions, your ideas for Legends of Dota builds. Again, there's a lot of new cool things we can do. In fact, like, and these talents really have a big impact. In fact, the talents have such a big impact, I actually had to ban Lone Druid. Because Lone Druid's talents are just straight up disgusting. You know, they're just... They're just disgusting. I don't even know. I don't think there's a better word for it. Alright, like I was trying to come up with a better word to describe it, but there isn't one. Because it's just disgusting. Right? They are so good. They are so fucking broken. Right? So with Lone Druid, you know, like Lone Druid just is the single best ranged right clicking hero in the game now. And he's so much better than everybody else that I just had to ban him. Right, like, seriously, we really didn't have a choice there. Like, he just had to go. <laughs> I tried to not have Lone Druid in here, but he's just so fucking dominant. Like, I tried to have him here and tried to not ban him, but he's just so insanely dominant. It's just, there's really no argument you can make for him. It's, it's crazy, right? So these talents really have a big impact. They really, really matter. All right, we got our Sosokuras. And we're just gonna keep spamming you. You know, and that's the cool thing. We can just go basically everywhere, put down a bunch of wards, and then the wards are gonna clear it out very easily. Alright, because these guys, they're just strong. Alright, like, the only problem they have is damage output, right? But, um, well, just give me some, few, some levels. You know, just a little bit. We're almost there already. Level 23. Level 23 currently. Oh shit, I actually. Yeah, it's probably time to get out of there. <laughs> Our next item we're gonna go for is a hard. Um, I like hard. Just makes life easy. You know, it's just like, oh, hey. And, uh, by the way, why do I have borrowed time? Honestly, I just didn't know what to put into that last slot. So I just put something in there. You know, something that made a little bit of sense to me. And the idea with borrowed time is pretty straightforward. It's just, hey, I wanna be able to, uh survive for a while so let's go ahead and get a tool that is pretty damn good at that um okay you know okay uh i'm gonna go yeah does he have attack speed boost oh wait where did you go okay good luck <laughs> level 25 we did it three times plague more damage all right now now what's gonna happen next well, let me go and just put these down really quick. And as you can see, that's pretty fucking quick. And I didn't even add anything into that. So uh, what we do now is we actually just start dealing damage, right? Like, okay, maybe not to that centaur because he's tanky as fuck. Um, all right. Hello? Ah, shit. Time to go. Oh, wow. That was fucking close as hell. Alright, I'm happy about that. Um. <laughs> um Alright, we're gonna go ahead and kill these really quick. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we managed to sound him out. Oh no, he had vision on me. That's fine, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Alright. Woo, that was, that was uh, a bit messy. That's fine. So um, now we're actually getting to the point where the game is really going to start being fun. And what we're going to do now, right? Like, we are still not that great at fighting. And as I already mentioned in the beginning, we, we are never going to be great at fighting. That is just not one of the strong suits of the of this build. Like, it's just not one of the things we're good at. Um, but let me tell you what we are good at. All right? Let me show you that really quick. Because there is a thing that we are... Very, very good at him. Okay, uh, well, actually, I should be able to just kill him. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, you know, sometimes we can win a fight. Sometimes. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these down here. 
And every single one of them has 1,300 HP. Which, 1,300 HP is a lot, right? Well, actually, 1,350 to be exact. And uh, they all deal a decent amount of damage. Now, the thing is that we built them up so fucking quickly that, in fact, no matter what you do, you actually cannot kill them quicker than I can build them. Right? Like, there will always be an increasing amount of Venomancer wards. Which means, eventually, your tower will die. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> then we go out and grab ourselves a heart, and we teleport into the top lane. Now, what do we do at the top lane? Well, you might have guessed it. Alright, you might have guessed it already. Now, the cool thing about this, in fact, we deal so much damage that even backdoor protection doesn't heal more than we can put out in terms of damage on these buildings. Right now, um, right now, of course, there is no backdoor protection, which is fine by me. Now, I can just make all of these attack that really quick, and it's dead. Hmm, not funny. Oh, and then we blocked out because we are Venomancer with uh, borrow, uh, borrowed time. Or, well, it doesn't really got nothing to do with being Venomancer, but we got borrowed time, so we've got... Alright, um, and then we just kind of keep putting these everywhere. And also we have pretty much global mobility with the blink. So we just go ahead and we put a bunch more of them down here. Right, and as you can see, we're building them up so quickly. We just got to hit this tower once. Now we deal a ton of damage. Blink over here again. Um, I should actually probably max out this. And the tower is down. Then we hit this once. And then we hit this once and then we can retreat. Because now I just got to click these wards on here. And then click the wards on here. And the barracks are down. <laughs> Alright. Now, is killing the barracks the most important thing? Uh, no. But I promise you, it's definitely not a bad thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and escape again. And, uh... Yeah, you know, like, we just got a bunch of wards. And we're just gonna keep spamming them in there. Because, why not? Like, who is really stopping us? And the cool thing, too, is that because we're so busy doing this, right? Like, we never really get an opportunity to just click on things anyway. Which means our heart is, like, basically always... Act Wait, does heart even get deactivated when you start clicking on things? Doesn't matter. Their barracks are down. And now you know what's next in line. Well, yeah, there's really only one thing left. But why can't we do that? Well, you know, why can't we do what we have been doing so far with that one last thing? Well, uh, there's really no reason why we can't. And so we can. Yes, we can actually just keep doing this until the Ancient is dead. And that's why this build is really strong. <laughs> right? Like, it just... Uh, overwhelms you. Um, the wards are just not killable at all. Right? You just cannot kill them quickly enough. How? Right? You gotta do it one by one. You don't have a choice in this. You can't, you know, decide to, like, go for something other than just, like, one-on-one -on -one right clicking there. And, um, now it's just an ancient, and uh, actually, never mind about that. <laughs> Boom! You see that? You see that? That's crazy, isn't it? Just got to get to level 25, and the game is fucking over. It's crazy. Crazy fucking build. Super powerful. Um, I have lost a single game of this build, and that was the first time I played, and I didn't know what I was doing. Right? And also, in that game, my entire team consisted of Treants with Sniper Ultimate. They thought it was really funny to play Trian and jump into the trees and Sniper Ultimate people. Um, which, as you might guess, is not really the most efficient strategy. But this, this build is super scary. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. Um, as always, don't forget to leave your suggestions for future Legends of Dota videos down below. I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.